start of this message here. It's good to see you. Um, I am really just in the place where I'm in a space of exploration. I'm finding that with these Facebook Lives, this is a wonderful place to just be with you really in conversation and allow some of the, the thoughts that are still being refined, being like coming out and coming into into the world to have a space and, and to actually, honestly, I was gonna say if you don't mind, but to honestly just do the work um, with it in real time and actually build, build out everything uh, in, in just like a real time, um, I guess they're a real time experience. So right now what I'm, I'm thinking through is this, this question, like how do you help people feel safe enough or to build enough trust to try something different or something new? Um, and, and I'm gonna leave it at that question, like just kind of open there because overall I'm, I'm a visionary leader. Uh, I'm a pioneer. Uh, I love, I love technology. I'll bring, I, like, I'll do Facebook Lives. Uh, I, I tend to be. I'm finding myself right now. I tend to be someone who prides myself in being someone someone can come to when they're doing something for the first time. I think it's what shows up. Like that's that's one of the things I just love. If you've done it before, uh, I mean, like I'm typically not the person that you need to come to. But if you're about to try something for the very first time, uh, it's different for you. It might feel dangerous for you. Uh, it might need a little bit of courage, or you might feel like you need some confidence. Like that's that's where I love to play. I just got done uh, in being in a leadership experience where I had the opportunity to take people uh, through an experience in Zoom where they could actually. Just be in. Let me just be as specific as possible. They can. They could spend some time choosing what rooms they wanted to be in for the Zoom session, and it just it was just an open-ended area of like we have some time together. Choose, pick which room you want to be in. Uh, feel free to move to other rooms, so on and so forth. Now, for me, just being real about this year, there were a couple of different challenges that were uh, at the place. One, it was something new. Uh, most people hadn't experienced that. I myself had been thinking about it for months, and Zoom recently made that technology available um, to do it do it quite easily. So there was that. That was one thing that was showing up. Uh, two, it was so new that if you hadn't uploaded and updated your uh, Zoom platform, uh, you may not have that uh, that capability. So. Uh, yeah, I'll talk about it in the specifics now, and then I'll go ahead and take it out a level to how I, how I would apply this to any project where I'm bringing someone new in. So the first one was, um, it was new, most people hadn't experienced it. The second one was, it was so new that most people hadn't, like not everyone would have updated their the platform to allow them to take advantage of all the features. Uh, this The third challenge that was showing up for me in this particular area was around timing. Like we only had 25 minutes together. Uh, and so to expose people to something new for the first time um, when it's either unexpected or, or um, yeah, just in that environment, it just, it was, it, those felt like the, the, the major, the major um, challenges to kind of navigate. And I'm just really just reflecting on that um, one, because the energy in me right now is high and I want to make sure that I'm, I'm playing that out. Uh, but the other side of it is just, just thinking through that question of, okay, like we, we, we just had the experience, you know, it, it went it, it went to the extent that um, that had foreseen. Um, it, was it messy? Absolutely. Were there, were there some uh, snags that, that came into place? Yes. But all of that was also like, I entered knowing that it wouldn't be perfect. And I just, I, I'm finding myself just really excited to enter into a conversation around like how you approach bringing people in to help them experience something new for the first time. I'll make another video and it'll come up at some point where it's polished and I'm sharing, uh, sharing more about like the insights that I've had from this. But right now I'm really just interested in like, in, in your approaches. Um, I'll share what I did here. So what I did here was, so we had the time crunch, we had the fact that it was new and unexpected, uh, and then we also the fact that not everyone had access to it simultaneously. So there was some preparation work that was done in advance to uh, almost like play out the scenarios, like how would this work almost like a, in an ideal scenario, step by step, how can we make sure that functionally uh, 
this experience where we're going to give people a chance to move into different uh, Zoom rooms and explore from that perspective. How could that uh, how could that work? So there was part of what I did was spend some time just planning out what what was necessary for that to take place from a logistical standpoint. But what I think what really prompted this overall was just in the moment, I, I didn't know it was going to happen like this, but in the moment, there was just this, there was one overall sensation, which was just like, we got this. Yes, it, there there may be a lot of different questions, but like, we have this here. Um, and when I pause to reflect on it, I'm like, I think that's something that I, that I end up bringing as the as potential tool to help myself and others like navigate into something new. I love bringing people onto the into my podcast for the first time. I love helping people get coats for the first time or go to places where they haven't gone before. And it's always with that same idea of like, don't worry, like we got this. Like, even though it's new, we can we can handle this. And I think that's uh, in this in this area right here. I, what's what's interesting is that I'm looking to see if there's any comments. I don't know if you're if you're making comments or not. I'm not seeing anything. Um, but if you are, just know that like I'll respond back to you afterwards because I do want to be in conversation with you. I don't. This is not one of my one directional uh, types of messages. But um, I'm realizing that that quality of uh, call it faith, call it belief, call it like just like just the knowledge of like whatever happens, like we're good. We're gonna get to the other side of this, and we'll be better off than what we hadn't been. And maybe it may it may not be the best experience, or it might be an exceptional experience. Uh, but there's this level that just really sits with me in terms of like the faith and belief that that I felt like I was riding throughout this experience. And I just want to I, I think I think I'm gonna end the conversation here because I love to see how other people uh, bring it in, and I'll spend some more time after I've allowed this to digest a little bit more, to really just see like, there's a skill set in it. And you're you're seeing me in real time play this out. There's a skill set in it. One of my skills is, is the ability, this is why I talk about courage. I, like, I help people as they're doing things for the first time. Like it's some, and there's a thing, <laughs> there's an approach to it. Um, I don't want to go as far as to say like, there's a methodology, it's not that, but there are frameworks, there are different tools, there are different principles uh, that can be used. And one of them I, I felt just can't come through in this experience was just to like, was just that element of like, let's take a deep breath, no matter what, we got this. And I think I'm surprised. I think that's the, the thing. I'm surprised with how potent that sensation was um, and how on the other side of it, like people are like, oh yeah, that was cool. Or that was, that was a new experience for them. So I'll end it here. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited to enter in conversation with you about this year. Um, and then later on, I'll distill some more of these thoughts and uh, and bring it back out here. But just know that, like, I'm curious. How do you help people um, as they're stepping out and trying out new things? And how do you help create trust and safety such that that can take place? All right, I'm Niyama Shang. Wherever you're watching this, please leave a comment. Let's please be in this conversation with me. Um, I, I, I'm keeping space for it and not being a right answer, but instead just to start curating and see how others are doing it. Um, and eventually, I think I'll start creating a space where we can have these types of conversations more specifically for for like the visionary leaders and the and the pioneers that are out there. Like, okay, there's something new, there's something people haven't experienced, and it's and I am choosing to be the one that's going to help them uh, have that experience. There's something in there that I think is important. I'd love to explore with you. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Leave a comment and uh, just know this, and this this has never felt more true. You got this. And we got you. Journey on. Hey, Oniyama here. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet. And then go ahead and leave one of your insights from today's video in the comments below. If you're looking to take this deeper, you can go and watch another video. Or you can go to niyama.com slash tribe to get exclusive invitation to our tribe member only events. I'll see you soon.